Hi everyone! So as you probably know by now, I finished my last exam on Friday. I think it went quite well. I thought it was a lot harder than people in the year above who took it last year said it would be. I don't know whether that means that the exam was harder or if they just now feel like it was really easy because they're in second year. So I hope I passed. It's 40% to pass. We're quite lucky because we're the first year that's been allowed to actually retake the exam. In the past, if you failed the exam in the end of year, then you had to retake the whole year. We're quite lucky in that respect, but I hope that I don't have to do that because I don't really want to come back here in August. I don't want to have to spend a month and a half revising and panicking and I need to do paid work over summer as well. So I don't really have time to revise over the summer. We all agreed when we came out of the exam that we wouldn't talk about it, or like talk about the answers and that lasted a few hours and then later on we started talking about <laughs> what answers we gave and well some of the questions that I'd answered I found that everyone else had, had sort of chosen the same sort of answer as me and, and then there were other questions where I thought okay I've, I definitely got that wrong. We're now in survivors week which is just basically a week to have a party and chill out after exams because we have all been working really hard. So on Friday after the exam we had our, our marriage social and I went as Princess Leia and my medic husband went as Han Solo. The social secretaries for MedSoc also organised some awards for the evening. Some of these included Medic most likely to get struck off by the GMC, the Kino Award, Sleeping Beauty always asleep, the Boris, worst hairstyle, the Will and Kate most likely to get wed. I was lucky enough to receive the Kino Award. I'm very proud to have received this award. And if the MedSoc social secretaries are watching, yes, I am this keen. I do make videos on YouTube. I really deserve this award. And thanks guys for organising such a great night. It was really good and we all enjoyed it very much. And we're looking forward to the rest of Survivors Week. I just want to explain a bit about the marriage social thing. So basically next year we'll be second years and we can, if we like, sign up to the parent scheme with MedSoc. So this just involves really you you're just given some medic children and they you just get to look after them really and it you know well look after them but answer any questions they have it, it's not really like an academic thing it's, it's more of a social sort of support thing just so they can get to know people in the year above because i think in general like we do know quite a lot of people in the year above now it's just nice really to have a wide breadth of friends across the year group so looking forward to that next year getting to know some little freshers then on Saturday we just chilled out really and a lot of people were just were nursing hangovers including myself and then on Sunday we went to the beach which was really nice for about two hours uh, the sun was out and it was really nice and I went into the sea even though it was really cold then it started pouring down with rain and we all had to go home <laughs> but it was really fun up until that point so tonight uh, we've got a tribal UV tribal night th theme so I just need to get some like UV paint or something uh, I don't really know what it involves yeah so and then we're going out i think we've got a barbecue this afternoon as well yeah i think we've got a few more things planned like rounders in a few days time i think it might be on thursday or friday and and more nights out really i've got quite a few loose ends to tie up with various different things got applied to reapply student finance i'm helping out on one of the open days tomorrow which is for the I think it's for offer holders for next year. So I'll just be uh, answering any questions and doing some demonstrations and that kind of thing. I need to sort out our flat because it's a complete mess. Uh, so tidy it up so that it's all ready before we leave. And also I'm trying to sort out our house for next year as well. I mean, we've already got a house, but sorting out collecting the keys and that kind of thing. And I need to do my CV because I really need a job over the summer. That is very, very important. <laughs> So the videos I'm planning on doing next, the, the first one and like the one that has been requested most from you is a finance video and have actually looked on YouTube to see if there is that much, you know, any information really about fi finance in medicine. There isn't really much at all, but there is absolutely nothing available for graduates. So I'm just in the middle of doing some research at the moment and um, I'll put that video out as soon as possible. So I've had a lot of questions about it. I, I need to do proper research though because the process has changed a little bit since I applied last year. Um, there have been a few changes and I think it's going to change every year unfortunately. Hopefully that will be useful to you. And then the next video that I plan on doing is a video about how first year's gone and also some general hints and tips about how to get through the first year and um, get the most out of the first year. I'm one of the student parliament reps here at my university and 
as part of uh, well, one of the things I was asked to do was to put a page in the MedSoc book about general hints and tips for the freshers and I collected a lot of advice and guidance from people in the second year and in the third year so that will be really useful to you as well um, and I'll share that with you so I look forward to seeing you all soon I hope you're enjoying the weather bye <laughs>